Hi everyone, my name is Marcia and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I have a lot of Sephora sale recommendations for you guys and these are all makeup products. I have a lot here <laughs> uh, to go through and some of the stuff I'm just going to show you and some of the stuff I'm going to pop a picture um, on the screen because I either don't have it um, in my collection because I used it up or I just didn't bring it down here to film with so uh, but a lot of the stuff I do have here so yeah I'm gonna show you but um, I have so many so many products that I absolutely love that are sold at Sephora and this is honestly the best time to get it because you can get it on sale you can get 20 15 or 10 percent off um, yes it's true sometimes you can get the same deal or better on the um, brand's website like Pat McGrath. So I don't think I'm, I have anything here from Pat McGrath that I'm recommending for the Sephora sale because even though I absolutely love Pat McGrath uh, makeup products and I use them all the time, I just don't think you're getting the best discount at Sephora because at you know, Pat McGrath, she does incredible, incredible deals and sales and gifts with purchase. Um, so I highly recommend ordering directly from Pat McGrath website during those sales. Um, but for the most part, I think this is a really, really amazing sale. I'm always really excited to shop the sale. And so I'm always excited to kind of recommend some of my favorites. Some of these are really old favorites and some of these are new favorites so let's go ahead and get into it um, and we're just gonna get started so I'm gonna kick things off with foundation for foundation I found a new favorite love with Prada Beauty I honestly am so impressed with Prada Beauty in general but the foundation is just superb it is top 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 of the line I really really love it my makeup always looks so good when I'm wearing this one and I am just obsessed. I am definitely thinking of picking up a backup for mine and they do sell refills so I am thinking of picking up a refill for it. I do think some of the shades may sell out because it is like a very popular launch and it's very new and it's pricey so I'm sure you know this is if there's any better time to get it, it's definitely now when you can get it on sale. I have the lightest shade LC5. It works perfectly for me. I love the aesthetics of the bottle. And again, this is a refillable bottle, which I absolutely love because you can save some money um, and you know just get the refills. But um, so this is nice plastic. And then the refill itself, I want to say you could use on its own. It doesn't look as luxurious, but if you do want to save some money, I feel like you could just buy the refill and not get the full packaging and use it the way it is. Highly, highly recommend giving this one a try. It is a really good one. Next, we have my La Mer foundation, another favorite of mine. I absolutely love this one. I'm not going to spend too much time talking about it because I, I love this foundation so, so much. Um, mine is almost done. I recently did a get ready with me video featuring my favorites from Sephora and this was the foundation I chose to use and I just love it so, so much. I do already have a backup for it and it's just something I'm going to continue to repurchase because I really like it. Next, I really like this um, foundation here. I'm going to pop it on the screen. This is the Makeup by Mario Foundation, the Sur Surreal Skin Liquid Foundation. I finished mine completely and I am going to be getting another one. I really, really love this foundation as well. It looks so pretty on the skin. Last foundation I wanted to recommend is this one here by Fenty Beauty. This surprised me, honestly, but I love this stick foundation. This is called the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Stick Blur and Smooth Tint Stick Foundation. It is so good. I love the way this looks. This isn't, on me at least, a long-lasting foundation. So this is something I wear when I don't have like a very full long day or 
you know if i'm just going out for like a short period of time this looks amazing as it wears out i feel like it just it doesn't last as much but when it's on when like the first few hours it looks excellent so whenever i have like an errand to run this is so easy so quick to do you don't need to spend a lot of time applying it and it looks so good for the first time being and um i i have already finished one of these and this is all i have in this one and i already have a backup of this because I really do love how easy and quick it is to apply and how it looks um, on the skin. It just looks so, so good. So for concealers, I love this NARS concealer. This one I have repurchased for years and years. I have mine in the lightest shade. It's the light one and I love it. I absolutely love it. I need to repurchase mine because I'm completely almost like almost completely out of it like i can i'm still able to like kind of scrub the sides but it's almost out so i have to get a, another one of these but i absolutely love this one and then the next one is one of the newer um concealers and it's by natasha denona and this is another really really good concealer that i really really like the way it looks on the skin it really never creases like under the eyes and it just looks superb. And the last concealer I'm recommending is this one here from Tom Ford. This is the stick concealer. I absolutely love this one. <laughs> My only complaint, and I have said it before, is that it doesn't last long. You know, like I, I go through it pretty quickly. And um, I have already repurchased this and this is all I have in mind. And I have already um, gotten a new one recently, so but other than that other than the fact that i go through it quickly i absolutely love it and the reason why i go through it so quickly is because this is the one i constantly grab for i just love the way it looks very skin like you don't see it on but it just smooths everything out i just i really really love it definitely give this one a try if you haven't yet I think you'll be very pleasantly surprised. Next, I absolutely have to talk about the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base and Vitamin Enriched Eye Base. These are my favorite primers for the face. I absolutely love these. And I do already have um, backups of these, but I am almost out of both of them. This is all I have loved in the face base, and this is all I have in the eye base almost nothing like one more application but i do have a backup of this and i just recently purchased um like a set where you get one of each so i'm i'm good to go but this is just something i continuously repurchase ever since i found out about it ever since i tried it it was just um love you know like i just loved it it just looks so good no matter what foundation i use I know that this these primers will make it look the best so I absolutely love them next I wanted to quickly talk about the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray I recently finished the large one and I'm currently using this mini this was like a free gift with purchase and I wanted to use this up but I do already have the full size as well this is just something I always have on hand I always buy it when it's on sale because it's such a good um, setting spray. I absolutely love this. So highly recommend um, getting this while you can get it on sale. Next I have two powders that I'm gonna talk about. I don't use a whole lot of powder, but when I do, these are the two that I grab for the most that are sold at Sephora. One of them is the Charlotte Tilbury. This is the airbrush flawless finish. I have gone through so many of these powders. I don't even know, honestly, how many because this is just something I will purchase on repeat. It's one of my favorite, favorite powders. In fact, I am almost out of this one as well and I do have a backup of this. And if I didn't have a backup, I would definitely pick this up during the sale. It is such a good powder. It's just something I constantly reach for. And then the other powder that I really like is the one by Gucci. I don't hear a lot of people talking about this powder, but it is so, so good. 
this is what it looks like i do love the packaging i have to admit but the powder is so so nice it is so finely milled it is such a beautiful powder it you can't really see it on the skin it looks perfecting highly highly recommend both of these powders next i wanted to talk about highlighters and for highlighters you guys you have got to try the rare beauty highlighters if you haven't already i have three here and i absolutely love these they are so pigmented so beautiful i just absolutely cannot say enough great things about the rare beauty highlighters they are so good i have this shade enlighten i have this shade exhilarate and mesmerize and they're all so beautiful enlighten i think is my favorite one if i had to choose one it has the most beautiful champagne -y gold shade it is so so pretty let me swatch it it is like so silky smooth it swatches like a dream it looks beautiful on the skin i mean look at that highlight how beautiful is that right so this one is exhilarate another really really pretty one and then i also have mesmerized which is kind of like a rose gold shade it is also extremely beautiful so depending on the shade that you want i would highly recommend getting these they are definitely worth the hype in my opinion and really really beautiful on the skin highlighters are these um four sheet like it comes in these um little quads highlighter quads from dior um now at sephora they do have two of these available but not one of like let me see yeah so I have them in the 001 Universal and then I also have the 004 Rose Gold. Oh, oops, I'm holding them upside down here like this. But um, the Rose Gold is not available at Sephora at the moment. It, so these are not available. However, they do have the 002 available, which is, I think it's called Glitz. I'm gonna pop a picture of it here somewhere and i gotta tell you guys i am eyeing that palette i because i love these palettes so much i use them all the time um you know you can tell how much they're loved i absolutely love these and again like these shades they swatch beautiful they look beautiful like like look at that so i am thinking definitely of picking up that other palette the 002 palette i think i might be picking it up during the sale um we will see we will see i will definitely have a whole video with all the goodies i pick up i'm also going to be having a vlog i'm going into the store to shop like i usually do with my mom with my daughter and i'm gonna hopefully have a vlog on my channel um it might already be up i'm not sure in what order the videos will go up so i don't know if this video will go up before the vlog but um yeah i'm gonna take you shopping with me so we can see what kind of goodies we can find but i really like these um dior highlights i think they're so versatile so pretty i love having four in one and the quality is just there it's really really good contour my one of my top favorite ones i want to say is this um tom ford this is the shade and illuminate contour duo in intensity 0.5 this one i have repurchased already a couple of times and it's just something i'm sure i'm going to continue to repurchase my only thing about it is that i don't use this white highlight at all I only use the contour so I do wish that they had come up with a palette where they only had the, the contour shade because this is like a waste for me because but the contour shade is absolute perfection I absolutely love it on the skin I love the way it looks I love the way it applies it is creamy dreamy all that all that and more i highly highly recommend this one it is so so good i also wanted to recommend a couple of stick contours um one of them is the westman atelier in biscuit this is the shade i have and i absolutely love it this is another one that i have went through 
I'm not even sure how many of these I went through, multiple for sure. This one here is in a mini, and this is all I have left in this one, but I already have a backup in a full size and another mini, uh, which was part of a set. So I am pretty stuck up on this, but I absolutely love it. It is so beautiful. Um, it's the contour I'm wearing today. I really love it. It's something I use so frequently. I just absolutely love it. And then I also really like the Rare Beauty um, bronzing sticks. These are also really, really good. So this is all I have from this one. And I have two shades. So this one here is the Power Boost. And then I have one more shade. Um, so this one's almost, oh, you know, I'm almost done with this one, but I have another one. But I really like these. These are also really creamy and really, really pretty. And then the other one that I really, really like is the one by Merit. So this one here, it's in this beautiful gold packaging. Um, I have it in the lightest shade. And this is like a perfect bronzing shade for me. But I feel like I want to try uh, a darker shade. So I think I'm going to be ordering this in, in the shade that's darker than the lightest shade. Um, to see if I can use that one for contour and then I can use, you know, this for bronzer and that one for contour. We will see, but I do really like the quality of these. They're really, really good. Next, I wanted to talk about these Natasha Denona face palettes. I love all three of these. They are all so beautiful, so worth it in my opinion. When you can get your discount, um, it's just so worth it. And um, honestly, you cannot go wrong with any of these. This is the newest one, the Hypernatural Face Palette. I have been loving this, absolutely loving it. As you can see, I, I it's very much loved and it's very new. But I love the shades of the eyeshadows and I also love these here. I love the contour bronzer. I love the blushes. Really, 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 really good palette. And then I also love her older palettes. I love the Glam and the Love Face palette. Both of these are just top, top, top notch. I absolutely love the shades. I absolutely love the way it looks on the skin. You just, you cannot go wrong. You cannot go wrong with the Natasha Denona Face palette. She does these so well. I absolutely love these. I love the slim design of it too, um, you know, because definitely you can take these traveling. So I um, highly, highly recommend the Natasha Denona face palette. Definitely look into these um, if you haven't tried these before while well, you can get these on sale. Now I'm going to link everything down below in my description box for your convenience. And I just wanted to say I really do appreciate anybody who decides to use my links. It, you know, it really means a lot to me. It doesn't cost you anything to use someone's links, but whoever's links you use, they appreciate it. So, you know, whether you use my links or not, if you are going to be purchasing online and not at the store, I strongly encourage you to use someone's links. You know, someone, a creator on YouTube that you follow, somebody who you really like. This is the best way to kind of show your support and, um, you know, give something back to the creators and um, it costs you absolutely nothing. But um, if you do decide to use my links, I do greatly, greatly appreciate it. And I just wanted to say thank you. And I say this in all my videos and maybe you're tired of hearing it, but I just, I can't not say this. So thank you very much to everybody who uses my links. Okay, as far as eyeshadows, there are so many beautiful eyeshadow palettes at Sephora that I can highly recommend. And I don't want this to be an overly long video. So I will select my top, top, top favorites. Um, so one of those top favorites is definitely the Prada eyeshadows. I have two of them right here. I love these quads. They are just absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful quality, beautiful color store. You just cannot go wrong you cannot go wrong 
um, you know, choose the color story that you want and and pick one of these up. You will not regret it. These are so, so good. I have been loving these and I am definitely, definitely eyeing another one. <laughs> I'm thinking of picking up another one um, because I just can't get enough. They're so, so beautiful on the eyes. The formula is so great. I mean, Prada Beauty really stepped it up in my opinion. They really knocked it out of the park. I love everything I have tried from them. Love their eyeshadows, love their foundation, and we're gonna get to it a little later in the video, but I love their lipsticks. So yeah, I just, I love everything. Next, I wanted to quickly touch up and talk about a Tom Ford. Um, these are just four that I'm bringing here and to show you. I have a much more than four. I am obsessed, obsessed with Tom Ford uh, quads. They're so good. They're so beautiful. Um, some of the standouts for me, my all time favorite one is this one here. This is the nude dip. I have mine in limited edition black packaging, but they have the regular packaging available at Sephora and these shades. This is the perfect, the perfect um, nude, you know, nudie look. Everyday kind of palette. It is so beautiful. Um, you know, as you can see, I love this so much. I've used and abused this palette because I love it so much. When I don't know what to, what to put on, what to wear, I just grab this. I know I can't go wrong with new dip. This has been like a favorite of mine for years and years. This is one that I have repurchased, finished multiple times, and I just, I love it. Another two favorites are these right here. Again, I have limited edition packaging, but both of these are available in the regular packaging at Sephora. I have this one here is the Honeymoon, and then I have Body Heat. These are so beautiful. Just wait till you see these. So here is Honeymoon. It is stunning. It looks so beautiful on the eye. And then this one here is the Body Heat. Beautiful, beautiful shades, beautiful looks. And then I also really love this one here. This is the Island Haze. It is so beautiful. These two palettes from Huda Beauty are my other favorites. I love both of these palettes. I never hear anybody really talk about these palettes anymore, but they are so beautiful. I don't know why. If you like the more like silvery tones, definitely go for the pretty grunge palette. And if you like the more golden shades, definitely choose the Empowered. But both of these palettes are absolutely stunning. They look so beautiful. Here, this one is the Pretty Grunge palette. Look at how beautiful these shades are. Such a beautiful, um, just looks amazing on the eyes. I really, really love this one. Honestly, when I was getting this palette, I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about it, but I fell in love with this palette. I absolutely did, and I use this one all the time, and I get so many compliments when I wear this. And then this one is my oldie but goodie. I absolutely love this Empowered palette. It is so pretty. And it is so, <laughs> so loved. I mean, I have hit pan on so many shades in here, as you can see. And I actually have a backup of this palette already. So I'm gonna use it a little more. And then when I'm ready, I have a backup of this one because I just, I knew I didn't want to be without it. And then the last eyeshadow I wanted to talk about is this one by YSL. This one is the Stora Dolls. I really, really love this palette as well. It is such a beautiful neutral palette with the beautiful shimmer. This is one I use all the time. I just really, really love it. Um, so this is another, you know, if, if you don't like this specific color story they do have so many others i think there's like six of them but definitely give this one a try if you're on the market for a new shadow palette this is a great one for mascaras first off i wanted to recommend the dior lash primer nobody really talks about lash primers but i feel like 
these really help your lashes it first of all they condition your lashes it's healthy for your lashes so i always try to use a lash primer before i go in with a mascara and they do have Dior available at Sephora. So I highly recommend getting this while you can get it on sale. And then for mascaras, I'm recommending these two here. I have the Gucci, which is my all time favorite. And then I also really love this Tom Ford. This is the one that's called the Extreme Mascara from Tom Ford. He does have a couple of them that look similar, but this is the one that I really, really enjoy. This is what it looks like and again this is a mascara that i have been repurchasing for so long and i just really really love it it is such a high quality mascara and then gucci is just something i absolutely love as well it has a very different one as you can see but i absolutely love both of these they are just my top picks if i had to pick two for eyeliners i highly recommend the hourglass retractable eyeliner it is the gel consistency and it is so comfortable it is so nice it doesn't irritate the eyes and then i also really like the makeup by mario liners um i actually have used all of mine up and i'm definitely going to be purchasing it during the sale because i absolutely love that one it is such a good formula for like a lip gloss i have some lip i'm gonna go into lip products and then we're gonna kind of go back to face products i know i'm kind of like jumping all over the place but i'm so excited for all the products so for lips um i really really love the dior lip glow oils i've gone through so many of these these are these are, they, they make your lips feel so hydrated so juicy i cannot say enough wonderful things about this i you can try any shade that they're not like too pigmented but they really make your lips feel so comfortable it's like a treatment for your lips in a way and then i also really love the new la mer these are the la mer volumizers I have the original one and I do really like this, but I absolutely love the new reformulated version with the sheets. Um, I have the coral one and I absolutely love it. I think these are definitely worth the splurge. And then I also really love the Givenchy. I have this one in, I think this is 110, yeah, 110. Um, and there's a new shade that's 109 that is really piquing my interest. So I'm probably going to be picking that one up, but um, definitely look into these. Nobody talks about these, but I really, really love them. I also really love the Dior Lip Maximizers. These are also such beautiful glosses. They really make your lips look so juicy. It just looks juicy and i have these in so many shades and they keep coming out with new shades and i keep getting more because i cannot get enough of these they are so beautiful and then last glosses i wanted to talk about are tom ford these are incredible absolutely incredible i have a couple of shades here and then i have a few more these are my top favorites so one is love lust and one is in the buff and the one that's in the buff, it has like a really beautiful, like nudie shade. I mean, I'm gonna swatch it because it's so pretty. You have to see how pretty this is. I'm gonna swatch both of these. Here they are. So we have Love Lust, which is the like a lilac shade. And then in the buff is like this beautiful nude shade. They're both absolutely stunning. And honestly, the formula is so amazing. You just cannot go wrong with these. Um, if you choose to try these, I'm, I'm sure you're going to love these. They are amazing. Now, as far as lipsticks, I really love the Prada lipstick. I have this on today. I love this new shade. This is the B11. It comes in, of course, the beautiful packaging, but this shade is so pretty. It is right up my alley. It is a very nudie lip. And it's very matte as well, but creamy matte. As you can see, like it's very, very creamy. And then what I love doing with this, what, I, what works for me, because it's matte consistency, I love topping it with this YSL. I mean, you can top it with a gloss, but I love these candy glaze 
uh, from YSL, especially shade two, which is kind of like um, almost like a clear, like a glossy clear. Putting this on top, it just does something special. It makes it even more creamy, more juicy. Every lipstick you have, if you don't love a matte lip, top it with this you know, candy glaze and you're gonna love it. Let me show you on its own and also on top. Look how instantly, it's right here. Look how instantly juicy the Prada lipstick became because of this candy glaze. And then here it is on its own and I just love it. I'm gonna put some on. I absolutely love this lip balm. This is like a mix between like a gloss a lipstick and a balm. It feels so moisturizing and hydrating and comfortable. I highly recommend these. They have so many beautiful shades, but I personally really love this number two. It is so pretty. I absolutely love it. I also really love uh, this Lawless lipstick. I have no old packaging, but I am planning to pick up a backup, so I'm getting the new packaging because, you guys, this is all I have left in mind. This is in the shade Platinum. It is the most beautiful nude. Um, I have a type, as you can see. <laughs> it's actually very similar to the Prada, but this is the Lawless, and then that's the Prada but the shades are actually very similar but i love 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 the lawless lipsticks they are so comfortable hopefully the new packaging is just the new packaging and the lipstick is actually just as nice but i am planning to pick it up because i am almost out of it and i have to have it it is so beautiful i love using this lipstick i grab for it all the time i also really love the Gucci lipsticks in the satin formula. This one is in the shade 100 Linda Beige. And it is, again, a very nudie lip. I have a type. I have a type, you guys. Yeah, my hand looks very similar, doesn't it? But that's just the shades I gravitate towards. That's the ones that I wear. But it comes, there's so many different colors. You know, I'm just telling you about the formula. I love the formula. You can pick a color that you like, but it is so good. And then I also really love these Armani Lip Cheats. Uh, this one is in the shade 104. I also really love 100 and 102. But again, they have so many different shades to choose from. I love the formula of this. So that's it right there. It is just so pretty on the lips i love this um, applicator like the teardrop it is so convenient to apply i really really like these as well next i wanted to talk about blushes for blush i have a couple that i'm really really enjoying right now the one that i have currently on my skin is this one by merit this is in the shade beverly hills and it's a cream blush and I'm actually, I feel like I'm going to go through this one um, because this is all I have left. But I absolutely love this shade and I love the formula. It is so blendable. I feel like it looks really, really beautiful on the skin. And um, I'm definitely looking into picking up another shade because I love this formula so much. I want to have another one. And so again, but I really do like this Beverly Hills um, color. It is really pretty. I also really love the Gucci blushes. These are really pretty as well. I have a pinky shade in Silky Rose. And then I also have a peachy shade in Tender Apricot. Honestly, you can't go wrong with these either. They are so pretty. Look at these, you guys. They are silky smooth on the skin. So, so pretty. I really, really like these. And then I also like the Too Faced blushes. I have mine. This is the Cloud Crush um, in the shade Candy Clouds. And um, I really like this one as well. So this one here actually really reminds me of the Dior blushes. The Dior... Um, 
backstage blushes it just reminds me of, of this exact shade um, because it also looks like really like really loud in the pan but on this skin these actually look extremely beautiful and more subdued not as loud but really beautiful so i love these and i have the other dior as well the coral one and i really want to get the rosewood shade so that's one that i'm considering getting during the sale but this is the coral one and i really like this shade as well it's so pretty on the cheeks now for bronzer my favorite bronzer is the gucci one i absolutely love this bronzer it is my favorite hands down from sephora this is one that I have repurchased and will continue to repurchase because I love it so, so much. I, but I also really love the Charlotte Tilbury one. This is the one that's um, cream based and it's called the Beautiful Skin Sun Kiss Glow Bronzer. I have mine in fair. It is so pretty. It is a giant. It's just a huge giant, right, for a bronzer but i feel like i'm very close to hitting pan because i have been really using it i have been on a cream kick lately i love the cream products lately i feel like they look very elevated on the skin and so i have been reaching for my cream products lately and this is one of the bronzers that i have um, recently been reaching for all the time and really really falling back in love with this it's just so so good again it's not a new product and nobody ever talks about it anymore but it is such a good product and it is available at sephora and you can get your discount so i had to mention so that is everything for my makeup sephora sale recommendations there were a lot of stuff i know and honestly there were a lot more that i wanted to talk about but i just don't want this video to be overly long there are just so many products at sephora that are so worthwhile getting on sale and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up let me know down in the comment section what kind of goodies you're picking up during the sale what kind of stuff you have already picked up during the sale I'm curious to know um you know what are the products that you are shopping for I hope everybody has a wonderful, wonderful time shopping if you're still shopping. And I hope everybody is staying healthy and well. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.